What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're keto, my name is John and I'm gonna kick this vlog off in just a minute. But first, if you haven't already hit that subscribe, click subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I do future videos if you are enjoying the content of this channel. <laughs> a little out of breath right now, just got done working out. So we did hit the gym up. Had to get up early this morning to go do some OT, so that's good for the bank account, I guess. <laughs> but I am kind of tired. We got a lot of stuff to get done today, and I'm not sure how much vlogging I'll get done because we're gonna go try to find some place to live. Uh, we are gonna be moving here soon, so we're gonna go look at some houses. I'm not sure how I'm gonna try to vlog that, but we're probably gonna go to a cookout later on as well, and it's gonna be fun. Just not sure how much footage I'll get, but I will try my best, guys. Talk to you guys soon. All right, you guys, I hit a shower, I feel good, feeling strong today, got a good workout in, and we're headed to Lawrence. It's so beautiful outside, the sun is shining, and so I'm really looking forward to going down there. Uh, really love that town. So if you're wondering if the, why there's a wet spot on my shirts, because there's like a grease spot on there. I'm always cooking, I sometimes get grease spots on my shirts, and so I had to try to put some uh, soap on there and get it out, and hopefully it'll come out so I don't have to walk around with a grease stain. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's the plan now. We're getting ready to head to Lawrence, probably grab some coffee, because you know we love our coffee. You want a grande? Mm -hmm. May I please have two grande cold brews with heavy cream and five Splenda? Already? That'll be, be everything? Yeah. That's 755, thank you. Hi. 755, would you like a receipt? No, thank you. Thank you. you Thank you so much. Thank you. Have Enjoy. a great one. We have been driving around this whole freaking town for so long. We've almost drove through the whole freaking town, really, and I've found nothing yet so far, but I'm still optimistic. I'm sure we'll find something. Uh, this was just like day one of house searching, so you guys know how stressful that can be, so we're trying not to be stressed. <laughs> Easier said than done. We're going to try to get some gas here in a minute, but I my back's kind of tightening up on me, so i got to get out and walk and do something, go get a snack maybe, maybe grab another coffee, so talk to you guys soon. going on guys so we stopped by this <laughs> really cool restaurant um, that just opened up in Lawrence we saw a friend of ours and now we're stopping by this place called set em up jacks this is where we met actually <laughs> and, why are you uh, cutting my head out I don't know you just need like to be cut out <laughs> cut you out <laughs> <laughs> this is where we met and we like to come here and just kind of remember where we met and just get all mushy and stuff sometimes so we're gonna come in here and get a drink probably have something to eat we'll see Can I get pug chips no <laughs> tomorrow All right, you guys, what's going on? We just went for a run. Yes, you heard me right. I did not stutter. We just went for a run. It was just such a great day outside. 
and Lindsay's really uh, been saying that she wants to start working out. And I really wanted her to come start running with me, so I've been really driving her, and she finally decided to come with me. And it looks like I might have killed her. <laughs> I took it easy on her. I did some walk, jog, and then I would sprint when she'd start walking just so I could get my workout in. She'd be all right. But she had a stroke of genius every now and then. She has one of those. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's full of great ideas. But she, we're on the way back running, and she saw a snow cone place, and she's like, I want a snow cone, but we didn't have any money on us. It's like, baby, just keep running. I'll make you a snow cone. And that's what I did, guys. So I'm coming to you soon as a recipe because it's so simple and easy. But we are definitely going to do some keto snow cones. As you can see, it can be tough. I got some Tarani syrup here, sugar-free. Uh, peach flavor, it can be tough to find sugar-free syrups when you go out to places. And so making them yourself is probably the best bet because you never know what kind of syrup they're using. But yeah, I'm just going to add some syrup to this, give it to Lindsay for, to cool her down a bit and see if she comes back to life. We'll talk to you guys soon. So proud of her, though. Oh, yeah. You're going to love it. <laughs> Keto snow cone, baby. Hey, if you want the snow cone, you got to come get it. You earned it, but you got to come get it. I'm not going to bring it to you. <laughs> shame. 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 <laughs> you did great, baby. I'm proud of you. Old brew, light on the ice with five Splenda and heavy cream. Five Splenda, and you said heavy cream? Yeah. Anything else for you today? Uh, no, that'll be all. Four ten, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Okay, so I kind of messed up. I forgot my tripod and microphone at home. I was gonna go grocery shopping, have you guys come with me and take you through, but that didn't work out. So I did go do some grocery shopping while Lindsay was getting ready, and I just kind of got a little bit of a, a keto haul here to show you guys. So this this kind of haul here is gonna be for when you're not super on super strict keto. You don't really have any weight loss goals. By the way, guys, that was the point of me telling you this. My cut is over. I am done cutting. As of this morning, I was 203, and so I was started at 8, 218. So that's a 13 pound, what, 15 pound loss? Yeah, 15 pound loss. My all time low was at 199, but I did end up going up some and that's gonna happen. But the cut's over and so now we're not being as strict, guys. And so I will buy things like these Atkin bars or some of this keto friendly granola, five net carbs. Um, you know, I'll indulge a little more. I'm actually not gonna be doing any bulking or anything either. I'm just gonna do some maintenance for a while and just kind of, you know, let my body tell me when I'm hungry, things like that, and not really ca don't care too much about counting or uh, tracking too much just kind of listen to my body just do some maintenance so this is this is what my keto haul is going to look like when i'm not trying to be too uh, crazy low carb i got some peanuts guys i know a lot of them keto police people get out of here you guys aren't allowed on this channel they don't like to see things like peanuts or sugar-free diet snapples and things like that but you know you got to make it sustainable it's a lifestyle you know it's going to do this for the rest of my, our lives at least i am i don't know about Lindsay, but so I'm gonna definitely uh, buy some things that I can indulge in from time to time. So this is what a keto haul looks like. <laughs> and I went to Aldi and Hy-Vee to get everything I needed. And I got to Lindsay some flowers. They're actually pretty. What do you think, babe? They're very pretty. I got a really good deal on this ground beef. It says half off, and I actually had to go and ask them because I couldn't see anything wrong with it. I was like, wow. Half off ground beef. Guess we're gonna be eating a lot of burgers and uh, beef stuff this week. <laughs> Anyways, guys, just want to show you my keto haul for the week. We are headed to a place to grab something to eat called Barley's. I think that's the name of the place we're going to. They got a pretty cool patio, and so it's a beautiful day outside, guys. Like I told you earlier, we're gonna go hang out on the patio, probably have a drink, maybe get something to eat. Uh, but we're gonna try to keep it a, like a light something to eat because we're gonna go check out a food truck uh, festival thing that, that's going on in our area. So we'll definitely bring you guys along. <laughs> Seared off tuna salad. She loves the seared off tuna from here. 
I got a little petite filet and got the glaze on the side because it came with a glaze. I always want to get your sauces on the side so you can taste them if they're too sweet. And you don't have to use them, you can just use a little bit. But I'm pretty happy because this place has actually got the cauliflower, whipped cauliflower mash. And so I got that with some broccoli. So definitely keeping it keto friendly. All right, you guys, check it out what we got here. I did ask for this sauce on the side, but that's okay. I'm just gonna scrape it off and see how sweet it is. We got the caul cauliflower mash here, some broccoli, steak. Lindsay got the ahi tuna. Looks awesome. What do you think, babe? You good? That was delicious. Keto friendly. I ate every single bite. <laughs> the glaze was not too sweet at all, so I went ahead and ate it. It was just balsamic uh, reduction, it seemed like. Lindsay, that was a salad. All right, so the game plan was to go check out a food truck festival that I was super excited about and ordered a very light dinner so that I could enjoy some food truck goodness. Well, that didn't happen because Lindsay got the dang days wrong. She mixed up the dates. I guess that was yesterday. There is no food truck festival, and now I'm sad. <laughs> now, I don't know. We'll figure something out. I'm she I think we're going to head to the park. They got some music in the park. It's a beautiful place there, so maybe we'll just go check that out. I'm not really sure for sure yet, but definitely going to bring you guys with. We'll talk to you soon. That dang Lindsay. Hey. <laughs> She's excited. Okay, so we did decide to come to the park. They got some music going on, so we're going to go check some music out, hang out out here, and just have a good time. The pup is so excited. Did you hear her earlier? She's crazy. Plan Z. I don't know. We went through a lot of different plans. Now we're just going to chill on the patio, hang out with each other, have a drink, and enjoy ourselves. Because everything has gone wrong today. <laughs> what do you think, babe? This is much better. What do you got, Blake Mary? Uh-huh. I think we're all right now. All right, you guys, that's gonna conclude this vlog for today. We had a great time, enjoyed that sunset. It was so beautiful. Now we're gonna probably eat some food real quick and then head to bed. I gotta get up early, so. Thank you all who are subscribed already. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe. You will not regret it. Thank you all so much. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Instagram and Facebook at i.f.yourketo. Thank you all. Life's too short, so have a fantastic night.